In 2023, India made history yeah. by landing Chandrayaan-3 on the moon's south pole. We are approaching the uh, vertical descent phase 2, which will have the lander module hovering at nearly 150 meters above Jee the haan. lunar surface. Yes, you can listen to the sound of 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 the जी हां आप अगर फिर से ध्यान से देखें तो एल्टीट्यूड पुनः कम होता जा रहा है अभी हम लोग लगभग लगभग 135 मीटर की ऊंचाई पे हैं द सेंसर्स दैट आर अपडेटिंग एट दिस पॉइंट आर प्रोवाइड कि हम पाव लैंडर मॉड्यूल बट दैट वाज जस्ट द बिगिनिंग नाउ चंद्रयान 4 एम्स टू डू समथिंग फार मोर एंबिशियस माइनिंग द मून व्हाई because the moon could be the fuel station of the future. But what exactly is India looking for? Can Chandrayaan-4 make India a global space power? The moon isn't just a lifeless rock. It's rich in helium-3, a rare isotope not found on Earth in abundance. Helium-3 could be the clean energy of the future. Just 25 tons of it can power the entire United States for a year. Countries like the US, China, and now India are racing to mine it. The real space race has just begun. Chandrayaan-4 is India's most advanced lunar mission yet. For the first time, ISRO is planning a robotic sample return mission. This means bringing actual moon rocks and dust back to Earth, a scientific and strategic milestone. It's being designed in collaboration with private partners and is likely to launch by 2028. The moon's south pole is special. It has permanent shadow regions where water ice is preserved. This water can be split into oxygen and hydrogen, useful for future lunar bases and rocket fuel. Chandrayaan-4 will target these areas more deeply than Chandrayaan-3 did. Chandrayaan-4 isn't just about mining. It's part of a larger vision, the Indian Space Policy 2023. The goal? To commercialize space, create space startups, and partner with global agencies. ISRO is no longer just a research body, it's an engine of India's economic future. But moon mining is not easy. There are technical challenges, legal grey zones, and even the risk of conflict. The Outer Space Treaty of 1967 bans ownership of celestial bodies, yet countries are still staking claims. Will India face opposition, or lead with diplomacy and innovation? India was once the land of gold. Now, it's aiming for the gold of the future, helium team. Chandrayaan-4 could change not just India's destiny, but humanity's future in space. The question is, will the world be ready when India brings back moon dust? What is your opinion? Do you think India should bring helium-3 to Earth? Share your opinion in comments, and like, share and subscribe my channel for more informative videos.